Now, uh, the point is that uh, why are people facing these mental health issues? What is the reason behind uh, the mental health issues? So, as you see, I have divided it into... Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing about mental health issues. Now, this is one of the very important topics in psychology. So, what are the reasons behind uh, the mental health issues or you can say the psychological disorder that people are uh, facing? What is the reason behind it? So, now what is mental health comprising of? So, as you say, um, if you want to have a good mental health, you have to take care of what? Your psychological well-being. And the other say is that your psychological safety. Now, the point is that uh, how to have that psychological well-being or how to maintain your uh, mental health. For example, what is the reason behind uh, having these mental health issues? What is the reason why you know people are continuously facing these mental health issues? So, if we, I, if, if I go further, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, in India, close to 65 million, like um, the number is so high, that 65 million of Indians. It could be more also, but uh, this is something which is reported. So, 65 million of uh, Indians are uh, suffering from psychological or mental health issues. Now, uh, the point is that uh, why are people facing these mental health issues? What is the reason behind uh, the mental health issues? So, as you see, I have divided it into two parts. That means the psychological well-being and the mental issue basically comprises or basically the issue is comprising of two reasons. One is uh, psychological disorder, other one is abnormality. Now, abnormality is a very wide term. How would you know that, um, you know, the person is abnormal or how would you know that uh, uh, what what is abnormality because uh, you know as we go into day-to-day -day scenario there are people like who uh, you know every other person if you don't uh, find them behaving according to the uh, social well-being so we tend to say that they are abnormal so what is uh, abnormal and what is uh, abnormality in that way so abnormality as you can define it is a way if a person is behaving differently and not according to social standards so uh, it this couldn't be the reason of abnormality but yes uh, people might feel that the person is abnormal however uh, there's no reason to it that um, you know uh, to what extent uh, the abnormality is there other than that uh, if the person deviates from the normal behavior of the society or you can say normal behavior which is expected now how would we know that uh, what is a normal behavior for example uh, you know if there is a woman and who faces uh, anxiety so what she uh, you know what she does is that she uh, have a slits on her hand so this is not something which is considered to be a normal behavior why because uh, a person a lot of people go through anxiety but that doesn't mean that you are going to take this kind of step so this is an abnormal behavior and this is what we can consider as abnormality now moving further that's the only reason what is abnormality so abnormality if you want to study so study of abnormality is known as psychopathology. 
now what is psychopathology that means here we study the mental illness now how do you know that uh, there is mental illness to a person for example if we go in the ancient times uh, people used to consider it as uh, evil spirits people used to consider it as uh, bodily possessions now this is uh, what was the study of uh, abnormality in the ancient times now if i go further uh, you know with time renaissance came and uh, people started uh, discovering more about uh, you know psychological disorder what is the reason behind it then we found that um, you know uh, the one person who has uh, talked about uh, uh, the bodily fluids inside are probably not the one who are working uh, you know in a well manner that's the reason why people are uh, Uh, facing this uh, mental health issues and though though the study of uh, hypocrites was uh, not true why because uh, you know what he focused was that he said that there is um, you know there is uh, issues with the movement of the body fluids inside the body and uh, in the brain area that's the reason why uh, people are having this abnormality now understand that was not completely true but probably the first person who talked about uh, mental health issues in a biological sense other than um, you know in evil spirits and about the possession etc now the second part of uh, uh, the mental health issue could be psychological disorders now psychological disorders are comprising of what for example now these psychological disorders could be of uh, you know various reasons for example it could be biological reason it could be socio cultural aspects etc now i talked about abnormal behavior at the same time i'm talking about uh, psychological disorder in which i have uh, to- told about socio cultural aspect now understand that if you if a certain person is uh, not behaving in a manner in which the society has been moving out so what what will happen is that the person will uh, face a lot of criticism so with time what is going to happen is that this is going to create a lot of mental health issues or you can say um, a lot of uh, tension anxiety etc now if i go further what comprises of uh, psychological disorders as i have studied as i have told you about abnormality i have told you about uh, psychopathology i have told you about uh, what are the behaviors that would be comprising of uh, you know would, would be known as abnormal behaviors now psychological disorder comprises of your biological influence what is the biological influence then it comprises of psychological influence it comprises of socio cultural influence now biological influences it talks about genetic makeup that means uh, there are certain diseases for example if you have uh, you know schizophrenia now schizophrenia now a lot of uh, studies have said that uh, this uh, disease is uh, you know could be transferred genetically to other generations also so biological influence brain structure and the neurotransmitters could be one of the reasons of uh, this issue now other than that you have socio cultural aspect now this is playing a very big role why because uh, the kind of society we have been living in and then there are certain changes that are coming in the society if people are not able to cope with the changes that are coming in so what is going to happen there will be a lot of uh, stress there will be a lot of anxiety for example uh, you know a lot of people uh, face this uh, issue to cope with the environment they are living in for example if a person is coming from a village area and now suddenly the person enters in this uh, metropolitan area the person will not understand the culture of the metropolitan area and similarly there's a lot of uh, anxiety then uh, there will be a lot of uh, you know thoughts with respect to depression etc now where is this coming from because of the socio cultural aspect that means the cultural expectations the definition of normality and uh, disorder stigma and prejudices homelessness abuse etc now all this is going to act as uh, the reasons of psychological disorders now other than that you have psychological influences now what is psychological influences for example responses to stress pattern of negative thinking now pattern of negative thinking is a uh, uh, 
is a major thing that we are seeing among the youths of the country why because uh, probably they get into that vicious circle of negative thinking and the loop never ends why because uh, the negativity of the thought process keeps on um, revolving around and this leads to a disorder which is again anxiety stress and uh, depression etc now this was just a brief description about abnormality and psychological disorder in other videos we will be discussing about uh, what are actually the mental disorders what are the mental illness and uh, probably what are the reasons because of which we are facing this kind of mental illness and what are the stats saying about uh, you know india uh, having uh, youth which is facing uh, mental health issues and why aren't uh, we still taking mental health uh, as one of the serious uh, you know topic to discuss about thank you so much